Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for September the 12th of 2019. Well, it is titled the Iris Nebula in a Field of Dust. So what do we see here? Well, on the left hand side labeled here, we see what is known as the Iris Nebula. This is an example of a reflection nebula, which occurs when dust grains around a hot star will scatter the dust, uh, scatter the light around and make it appear blue. Now the hot star that forms there is a blue star in the first place and dust grains are very good at scattering blue light all over the place and allowing redder or longer wavelengths to pass through. So when we see things like this that's going to give us a very blue color around this star when it is surrounded in dust and a lot of that dust can be left over from the formation of the stars. So the iris nebula in the upper left hand side is an example of a reflection nebula. So the blue color is not associated with any specific element as we often associate a red color with hydrogen gas emission. It is simply a matter of how the dust behaves and how the dust is better at, re, uh, at reflecting the shorter wavelengths of light. Now on the other side of the image we see a set of dark nebulae labeled here. And those are very dark dusty areas, same kind of dust little grains of material that we saw on the other side of the image. But in this case, there's not a bright star nearby. So there's nothing that is illuminating them at all. And we see some of these dark dusty knots, which are regions where stars are currently forming. So within these denser knots, not not that material is missing, but there is actually more material there and it blocks out the light from behind it. And in fact, this at the centers of these dust dense uh, knots would be proto stars. So stars in the process of forming that have not really become true stars yet. So this entire region is a area of star formation. Anytime we skit dust and gas together in sufficient quantities, stars will begin to form. And those are regions that are very common in galaxies like our own. Now one of the last things that we can see are a couple of interesting objects noted here. And these are Herbig Aro objects, which are uh, not stars themselves, but are related to very young stars. And those very young stars are extremely active and are spewing out jets of material. When those jets of material in strike things like dust and gas in the interstellar medium, they excite it and cause it to glow. So what we're really seeing is the glowing of that material having been sent out by these very young stars. And it is a process uh, which uh, many young stars will go through. And we are able to see a couple of them imaged here along with the Iris Nebula and the Dark Nebulae today. So that was our picture of the day for September the 12th of 2019. It was titled the Iris Nebula in a Field of Dust. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be two comets. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.